continued forward from McGrady, and this struck high, narrowly so. First half, four minutes, 20 seconds into the game. Portland caught Thorns. the defense off guard, man. Off they guard. Off guard, off guard and, and in front of the cove, cave. I haven't checked with them yet, but in front of the Sirens supporters, the first goal goes in. Sophia Smith from the Thorns. Um, Wave had a good opportunity, hit the clip, the crossbar, but I'm pretty sure the game is open enough to tie it up in a bit. You kind of expect something like this, right? It's the second game ever, first game at home playing together. I haven't got much time playing together as much as Portland has, so mm -hmm. to expect them to completely dominate right off the start in the Challenge Cup is a little up there. Yeah, last... again, we'll see. From what we've heard is that this team is stacked. Yeah, absolutely. From last game, it, they were down uh, one goal uh, to Angel City, so they know how to come back and tie a game. So hopefully they do it a little uh, with more time. And... <laughs> Find Johnson who jumps into the attack now as Korniak drives in front to the backside nearly five hold Alex Morgan denied by Smith. Oh, what a stop! That was a fantastic stop, honestly. All right, 26 Pardon. minutes into this uh, first half, San Diego Wave has already knocked on the door a couple times. Still no goal for them, still no first goal to go, but it's coming, guys. It is coming. Absolutely, so there's been a couple of shots on target right to the goalkeeper. San Diego Wave has bounced back, they have the momentum, and it seems like they have a chance to tie this game up before the half ends. I've never seen Torero this <laughs> Yeah, it's never been this packed. The goal's coming, Tony. It's gonna happen. Who scores it first? Uh, Katie Johnson. I La really Mexicana. hope Alex Morgan scores. La Mexicana. How great would that be? Ole, ole, ole. Is that Gio Reyna? Is that Gio Reyna against Mexico? <laughs> Alright, so for halftime, 1-0, Thorns are up right now. Uh, it is a game that, you know, Wave's been on the offensive, they've had more chances. However, comma, Sheridan, goalkeeper for San Diego Wave, is phenomenal. Oh, three, she's made some crucial saves already. At now. least three saves that are just outstanding. I don't care who you are, that's, that's world-class stuff right here. Uh, but so far, San Diego Wave has not been able to put the ball through the net. They've had four or five chances. They go directly to the goalkeeper and nothing more. But there's a whole other half. It's been really interesting. Seeing some old friends, seeing some new friends. Again, I've never seen Toro pack this much. Both sides, all three sides, there's people everywhere. And it's a great time, honestly. Uh, just a fantastic, fantastic outing. And we're gonna go ahead and see what Casey Stoney tells her players at halftime as she passes Jill Ellis, who's been coaching on the sides, frantically moving this way, that way, this way, that way, just, you know, I living it. I think they're gonna end up tying it up. There's no way they don't. They've been attacking constantly, so they should tie it up in the second half. We'll see if they make some subs. I think the same 11 start out on the pitch. Mm -hmm. Second half, but we'll Yeah, I mean, they played well. They played well. So, um, again, getting to know these players, um, fantastic, fantastic attack. You know, Morgan needs to get a little bit more involved. And I think San Diego Wave can tie this up and score a game winning goal right here. Morgan, Morgan, Morgan. Minute 51, Alex Morgan having a, a good run to a goal. Again, 
Every shot so far from San Diego Wave has gone into the hands to the general direction of the goalkeeper for uh, Portland Thorns. There hasn't been one since that clip bar one that almost went in uh, in this game for San Diego Wave. Yeah. But, I mean, what do you think of the start here, Shiva? Like I said earlier before uh, uh, at halftime, right? It's bound to happen. They're going to tie it up. They're getting some good through balls in. Uh, Alex Morton has it. Had, that was probably her clearest chance. Yeah. Uh, Might have been offside. The ref missed it. But again, I want her to score the first goal for Wave at Torero Stadium. Like, it, it has to be win for the books. Yeah, no, for, 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 for the books, right? Like, so remember first San Diego Loyal player who scored here. So remember, you know, anybody who's. Yeah gone and, and done history like that's going to be in the history books for San Diego soccer professional soccer so you know like I said at this point you know, Katie Johnson it's a sold out crowd sell out crowd it, the environment is great very family friendly lots of little girls with posters we're still their, watching their the loyal heroes. game too yeah we are watching the loyal game still uh, they're up one nothing because of Conway almost 1-1 but over, overall I've never seen Toro this packed it's amazing all sides uh, yeah. There's people hanging from the rafters. <laughs> like there's people in the A. Yeah. Oh, and are we trying to start our first wave at a wave game here behind in section 108? It could happen. It could happen. Oh, they're going that way. Listen to how loud the fans for San Diego Wave are trying to appeal for a Seemingly clear penalty. I don't know. What are you were you, you got it right I, here. I think they got the ball first. Honestly, she did went down, but I, I think the ref made the right the right call. Then no, they the fans are always going to disagree with the referee. We are not doing our job if we do not keep an eye on what's going on in Phoenix at this moment. Kyle Vassell has scored his first goal. It's now 2-0 for San Diego Lowe, but we're here for San Diego Wave as they move forward, and we'll see if they can get themselves a tying goal. You hear the off Tony as Abby Dalkamper and Alex Morgan come off. Yeah, so keep in mind this is still a preseason tournament. So obviously you want to save and uh, you know make sure that your players are healthy as you have a good play here. Cool. 85th minute. Wait, wait, wait. 86. Six minutes. All right. So 86th minute here at Torero. Back house. The atmosphere is great as we were talking about. Substitutes came on to prove a little something. There's a little bit more fire. But overall, San Diego Wave looks like a team that's trying to ready to go. But as some outside, some outside, outside. All right. It, as it, a, it, it, San Diego Wave looks like what it is, right? A brand new team. Brand new players team. Players still getting yeah. to know each other on the pitch. And that's what this Challenge Cup is for. Yeah. We expectations of winning and being dominant in this tournament were very high. That's not the case. And I, I think that's what Casey Stone is going to point out, right? We're here to make sure we start building chemistry. Yeah. So that's probably, that's what I'm expecting for her to say post game. But last of we'll NWSL see. should be where we see Wave more together after a tournament playing together. Chemistry, man. The, the players coming off the bench, like you said, look energetic. They look yeah. fired up. They want to score a goal. They want to tie this game up. They want to put the case on me. Put me as a starter. Yeah, exactly. So hopefully, you know, they got five, four minutes and uh, whatever the referee adds here. Um, but honestly, it's a great night for soccer as, you know, Torero now is known for, you know. It's going to be interesting whatever happens in the, la in the next couple yeah, months with Snapdragon and everything. But so far for being the first first home game here for a professional women's soccer in the NWSL. I think it's been a success, so congratulations to everybody involved, you know, again, action. Um, everybody involved, front office, players. There's a lot of young people, children in the stands, they're energetic. And yeah, you hear a little bit more little girls, which is which is good, man. Like, this is what it's for. Like, this is what it's for. And it's great to see families and just, you know, in general, just good job, San Diego Wave. Whatever happens, happens. Um, but again, it's a preseason tournament. Not the result that you would want. Still four minutes left of whatever the referee adds. Ish. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and get some post-game interviews with hopefully Casey Stoney and a player or two. And then um, we'll see what happens there. So make sure you guys like, share, subscribe to this video. 
uh, our wave content has been amazing so far and we can't wait to keep it going. Absolutely. What is the message to the team today after this performance that they had? You had a great performance by Sheridan to make it some world-class saves. Uh, could you talk a little bit about her performance individually as well? Yeah, I think, listen, I was really proud of them. You know, I think Kaylin's come up trumps and made some good saves again today. But so did their keeper. You know, their keeper was very busy tonight. Um, I think, we listen, we had, I thought Sophia was very good. Every time she went forward, I thought she looked threatening. I thought Alex was very good. I thought the players that came on again made a difference. I thought Chris McNabb kept it ticking over in the middle of the park. I don't really want to highlight anyone individually because I think collectively we were much better um, and it, it takes a team to win games. Congratulations on the save of the week, uh, but moving forward now, how are you liking the way that your defense is coming together? Obviously, you see the field from the from the back and, and its entirety. How do you feel like the defense going forward with a coach like Casey Stoney specifically too? How is that coming together? Yeah, Casey is an amazing coach, and obviously she has so much um, just intelligence on what the defense needs and how to build and how to defend, especially transitionally. Um, and we're really lucky to learn from her. I think coming together as a group that's just going to continue to grow. I think what we've seen so far is incredibly impressive from a back four that's never played together. Um, and they already look like they've been playing together for years. So I think, honestly, teams need to watch out the more that we get time.